Hi and welcome Pisces, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for June 2021. Now it is a general reading, so is trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to make sure my videos are coming through to you in your feed. And if you regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. Now the uh, winners for the giveaway for May 2021 have been announced on my channel. Um, I will run the names across here along the bottom. So new subscribers was Gloria Keen, Keel, K-E-E-L-E, and existing member in terms of winning the Oracle decks from uh, May 2021 was Dorothy Capan. So both of you need to get in touch with me. Head over to the community tab. There's a couple of announcements on there about how to get in touch to claim your prize. Now, if you want to know how to go into the uh, giveaway prize draw for June 2021 all you have to do is be a brand new subscriber to my channel hit that subscribe button or be um, opting in to the extended versions of my readings this month you'll go into the draw to win the uh, beautiful sacred power oracle deck by anna stark and i'll be drawing someone randomly and for those that follow me regularly i'm going to be choosing a very positive community member to win the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle, which is, I've got to say, one of my favorites. So I'll be keeping an eye out for you in uh, June. And both of those will be announced at the end of the month on my channel. Now, if you're wondering how to get hold of the extended versions of my readings, all you have to do is hit the Join button on my channel, or if you can't see that, the very first link in the description box below. They're $5.99 a month. You get uh, access to the extended versions of the monthly as well as the mid-monthly. We dive a lot deeper into your general energies, things coming towards you in terms of career finances, abundance, love, uh, helping you through any challenges you're going through, as well as higher guidance from spirit, chakra balance, all that kind of stuff. So if you uh, want to invest in yourself, they're highly motivational, inspirational transformational so go and check those out now if you do feel like you need extra support or guidance this month reach out for a personal reading my personal readings and distance reiki energy healing sessions and packages are open i'll pop a link on here and info down below follow me on instagram do a lot of daily motivation inspiration over there little motivational videos you won't get here on youtube so come and say hi all right let's get started pisces so we're going to be diving straight into predictions with the beautiful uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot. And if you don't know, I'm a Pisces as well. Let's see what you need to know. you got the King of Earth. He's very confident. He's sitting there on his throne. He's got his coin in his lap. It can represent somebody that you're connecting to. It can represent self. It's all about financial success prosperity, everything working out very well, having a very supportive partner or um, someone in your circle. It can even be parents that are very much supporting your path at this time. You've also got the star card. She's probably this beautiful glittery got silver into the water. Yeah, um, having faith in the future, your dreams coming true. The end of challenging times, things looking up. And you've got the Knight of Fire. Uh, she's riding a horse, so it can represent events coming towards you very quickly or the need for you to take action on something. Um, very much about going after what it is you want, trusting yourself. Ah, you got the one of fire and they're saying this is an amazing opportunity coming in towards you, Pisces, directly related to your career, things that you're very passionate about. Um, it's like if I hold these up, right, <laughs> the horse is rushing in. So it can be something that's going to come in super unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll say for some of you, you've been working really hard, yeah, and for quite some time. And uh, dare I say your ships are coming in. Mm -hmm. You've also got the nine of air. There's a bit of sleepless nights going on, anxiety, worry. We'll put some clarifiers on that. What else does Pisces need to know? That's two here. You got the Empress. Very, she's very nurturing. It's very much about giving birth to your dreams, going after what it is you want, having faith and confidence in yourself. 
Um, whatever you're doing at this time, Spirit saying is going to create your abundance, your prosperity. You're sitting directly under the King of Earth, which again represents financial security. And uh, you've got the Eight of Earth, which can represent putting in the hard work. Some of you possibly wanting to go back to school and study something new, enhance your skills. You may be already studying. Oh, that wants to fly out. And you've got the High Priestess, which is very much seeking your spiritual guidance, your messages from spirit going within, trusting the messages that come to you. Okay. And you've got the Seven of Air. He's running off with all the swords. So just watch the intentions of others around you. Um, very much particularly watch your money, particularly watch people that lack integrity. Just a bit of a warning sign. Mm-hmm. And you've got the two of air and she's uh, crossing herself with the swords. Yeah, being unable, unwilling to make a decision, procrastinating. For some of you, it's directly related to worrying about something in your life, sitting directly under that. Maybe overthinking something. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Muse Tarot. You've got the Muse of Inspiration, which is a king in this deck. It's a mirrored image. It's very much about your goals, your dreams, your vision, having a big vision, um, collaborating possibly with others to bring your goals and dreams, having a global vision directly related to financial security, prosperity, giving birth to your dreams. And you've got the wheel, which can represent cycle completions, new cycles starting in your life. The wheel, it can represent the wheel of fortune. So again, it can be creating more abundance, prosperity in your life. There's certainly a need for you to co-create that and put the work in, Pisces. Oh, and you got the two of emotions. So there's a beautiful mirrored soulmate coming in your life or in your life. Uh, it's related to the night of fire. So um, it can be a love offer rushing in, very passionate. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you've got the devil energy coming out. So uh, she's got strings. You probably won't. I'll bring it really close. You won't be able to see it, but strings tied to the end of the finger. So just watch in terms of overthinking things. It can just re it can represent some sort of bad habits you're getting into, um, states of being in terms of how you're thinking. There's a beautiful butterfly in the background lit up with fire, which can represent the rise of the phoenix. Whenever we have the devil energy, we can release ourselves, yeah, at any time. Um, just watch it's not the devil energy of others because it's related to the seven of air as well. Spirit's saying if you have that type of energy around you, you can release yourself, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Pull two more there. And you've got the six of voices, which means you've overcome a lot of challenges. You're about to take a leap of faith. Yeah. So this kind of energy could also have been in the past and you're moving through those states, Pisces. You've also got the Hermit, which is taking your time in quiet solitude, seeking your internal guidance, um, your spiritual guidance, particularly in the next steps of your path. And you've got the two voices directly related to sleepless nights, procrastinating about something. She's pulling her hair out in two different directions. So there's a bit of indecision, overthinking going on, and yet there's an open door when you get out of your head. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance there for Pisces? You've got the night of voices and spirits saying whatever decisions you need to make, do it from a place of your own honesty, truth, integrity, values. Can never go wrong that way. Any other guidance there? It's two. Yeah, got the Muse of Voices, which again is very similar to the Knight of Voices, um, which is it's a mirrored image, being very balanced in how you look at situations, not letting others' energy affect you, speaking your truth, acting in accordance to your own values. And you've got the Moon, which is very much trusting your intuition to guide you. All right, let's put you some angel healing messages. What is it Pisces needs to know at this time? You've pulled achievement. 
It says, take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It's often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. It's very beautiful. Because often we can just champ at the bit about all the things we haven't yet done and um, kind of ignore what it is that we, or just not appreciate how far we've come and grown. Um, you've got forgiveness. Let go of the past. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. So this energy coming through over here could be something that's happened in the past or recent past. Spirit saying just let it go, Pisces. And you've got Archangel Sandalfin. I've heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. So beautiful. Whatever you're, whatever's related to you worrying about, overthinking about, Spirit's answering your prayers. Mm -hmm. Working behind the scenes, Pisces. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. What is it Pisces needs to know for their path? Oh, you've pulled the Duke of Shadows. <laughs> oh, this could be super interesting energy. Kind of gets me right in the heart chakra. <laughs> could be totally related to all the overthinking going on. It says, Pisces, cunningly clever I am. I'm helping you discern the truth from the lie. Oh, here we go. I remind you that half-truths may seem to be whole, yet there are shadows in information yet to be known. When the time is right, the light shall be bright and confusion will give way to understanding. This oracle brings you an invitation to patience. It's a cautionary card not to inspire concern, but rather to inspire curiosity. There is more to a situation, a person, an opportunity, or even an apparent absence of activity on success or success than meets the eye. You could imagine it being like the universe has another card up its sleeve and is yet to show its full hand. The Duke of Shadows indicates that a process has been set in motion but is under the radar of your awareness. Something is happening even if it doesn't appear to be the case. Just like a seed starts to grow into a plant deep in the earth, apparently invisible yet very real, you're being subjected to invisible but real forces of growth and healing at this time. His appearance signifies that the bigger picture of what is happening right now is not fully available to you. In time it will be, but for now, the Duke of Shadows reminds you that what you are seeing is not the whole story, nor is it the final verdict. Because you cannot know what you do not know, you will need to wait for more information to come to you. So if what you see, sense or feel is negative right now, don't believe it. You're in a time of your life where your perspective will be partial. It is not through some failure on your part, it's just the way of things at various points in the process of bringing dreams and visions to life in the world. Sometimes we're at the top of a mountain and can see where we have come and where we're going very clearly. At other times we're doing the hard yards of the journey and have to keep going through what feels like a dark night where we aren't really sure where we're going or even if we're getting anywhere at all. It's an essential part of the journey that leads us to the top of the mountain and a clearer view in due course. So this oracle tells you two things. Firstly, if you feel like this, keep going because your perspective will soon become a happier and more informed one. And secondly, don't take things at face value at the moment. Things are going to shift and change and there will be a surprising twist in your life. Though you don't see it coming, another piece of your life puzzle is going to reveal itself soon and it will help solve a difficulty or question you've been holding in your heart. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's an affirmation here. It says, from darkness to light, when the timing is right, all I need to know is revealed. The beautiful truth no longer concealed. I trust that all I need comes to me at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Even when I feel I am in darkness, the perfection of the universe is always at play, helping me find my way. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So basically what Spirit's saying is um, whatever challenges you're going through, whatever is bothering you right now, even if you're connecting with people that you're not 100% sure of, things will come to light. Yeah, you'll get more clarity. Mm -hmm. If you've been worrying about a situation, things have been worked on behind the scenes for your Pisces. Yep. All right, for those of you watching the free version of this reading, those are your messages for the second half of June 2021. 
Uh, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. And uh, for those of you going into the extended, wanting to get the extended version, um, there's so much beautiful energy here about your dreams coming true. Um, I love the King of Earth for you, time of prosperity. Certainly a time of giving birth to your dreams and going after what you want. Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Uh, there's new love on the horizon or somebody in your life that is a mirrored image to you. There's an amazing opportunity coming in. And we certainly need to have a look at what's going on here with the sleepless nights, the worry. Whatever challenge you're going through right now, we'll explore that further. And I'm going to put Archangel Sandalfin here, yeah, that your prayer will soon be answered. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get a hold of the extended, just hit the join button on my channel, very first link below. Uh, for those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Don't forget, reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. And take care, beloveds. Now, those of you that are VIP members going into the extended hang around, we're doing your general energies next. All right, Pisces, in terms of your general energies, we're going to pull you a central energy from the Journey of Love Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Mm, yeah. You've pulled the void, which basically means that you're in this transition phase between one level of your life and the next. And sometimes there's uncertainty and it's really just about having faith and trust. Things will clear. Um, it's very much about you going through this personal growth right now. This change is happening in your life and there's always this period of unknowingness before that, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, in terms of uh, your general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the beautiful uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle and then pull you some clarifiers. The three here. Uh, you've got new experiences and possibilities entering your life, um, trying new things, meeting new people. Uh, it's kind of exciting, can represent brand new fresh starts. You've got the message to clear out the old, let go of the past, anything holding you back in life. Beautiful, um, I've got to say, indigo blues and lavenders coming through Yeah, in terms of amethyst colors, which is your higher states of consciousness. You've also got maintain your childlike spirit, which is your sense of fun, adventure, your lightheartedness doing things that light up your soul. Mm, very much a message to trust your own understanding, your own wisdom, your own intuition at this time. Just amp that up with some beautiful crystals. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, we're having a look at these new experiences and possibilities. Here it is, your crown chakra. Spirit saying, some of you are elevating to a very high state of consciousness. Um, for others, you need to be making sure that you're doing practices that get you into your high states of consciousness. Your crown chakra is your connection to the divine, your high states of um, awareness. Oh, you've got the angel of love coming in to touch your life. So part of your new experiences is love. I mean, that was in your predictions as well. Oh, darling's right next to that man holding a heart. Certainly a love interest here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, and a man holding a coin. Oh, hello. So a couple of messages to that, guys. A lot more financial security, stability. You may already be in this place, open, looking for love. Girls, I'm going to say to you, this can represent two love interests that you may have. It can represent the same side of a certain person, yeah? Or different aspects of, a diff of the same person is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I kind of said that backwards, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at clear out the old. Okay, so you've got hostilities here. So that's somebody else's energy and spirit saying don't engage with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just rely on your strength. Um, yep, rely on your strength. Pisces, we're not having a bar of that. No, we're not. Not in the second half of June. All right, it's two here. Actually, there's three. Mm. All right. So you've got your root chakra here, which is a sense of security, stability. So some of you may be concerned about that. 
Spirit's saying you're going to walk away from anything in terms of financial issues, worrying about your money, um, particularly anyone being not of great energy. And you just need to take action. Keep moving forward towards your goals, your dreams, what you're working on around your finances. All right, let's have a look at maintain your childlike spirit. Oh, Spirit's saying the sun is absolutely going to come out, my loves. Um, there's a message channeling through. Enjoy getting out in nature. Feeling the sun on your skin when you can find the sun. It's winter here. We do get patches of it, yeah. Uh, it can represent a beautiful positive shift in energy, optimism, your ideas, your projects being blessed. Mm, here it is, right next to that. There's a contract coming in. There's certainly an opportunity coming in. And you've got your heart chakra here, so trusting your heart to guide you. Um, directly related to... Man holding a heart. Mm -hmm. And you've got your community here. So your friendships, connecting with your, with your friendships. Mm -hmm. um, let's just pull you some guidance on these hostilities. It's two here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Wow. So you've got deceit here again. It's come out twice, Pisces, um, in your predictions and now here. So there's someone, the deceit is related to someone else's energy. So just watch that. Mm -hmm. It's a warning from spirit. Uh, there's also, you've got envy here. So someone may be watching you, um, being quite envious and jealous of you right now. Normally I would say the other aspect of it is that you can be deceiving yourself about something. Um, in terms of whatever's going on in your life. Usually if you're deceiving yourself about something, it's things you're saying to yourself that you can't change your situation, yeah? I'm going to say to you it's not your energy. In in pretty much the majority of the cases, this is not your energy. Mm-hmm. Because they've all come out together. Um, you've got the magician in the mirror, so spirit saying you can take control of this situation, Pisces, turn it around, Block that person out, shut them down, don't respond to it. Whatever you need to do, Spirit's saying that you can handle it. Just rely on your strength. All right, let's have a look at trust your own understanding. How, you know, when we have these kind of situations, I want to liken it to you like the eagle. So the eagle is my animal spirit guide. And often you'll see an eagle and he'll be flying around just enjoying himself. Most of the time he's got little bird or birds pecking at him because they're so frightened of him being in their space because he's such an amazing creature. I was watching one the other day near the foreshore here and he had a crow following and, and just would not let him be, right? Would not let him be. And I'm thinking, this is really bizarre. I mean, the eagle is such a strong bird animal i mean they've got massive claws and wingspans he could just really you know have a go at the crow to get him to leave him alone he didn't he's very peaceful he just kept flying he was just like oh god that's annoying me right now but i'm still flying um i kind of liken that kind of energy to this just rise above it pisces rise above it <laughs> let's have a look at trust your own understanding mm, spirit saying to um have a clear plan, strategy, the next steps on your path, particularly around your finances, career. Journaling can help. Anything you're going through where you're worrying about stuff, do some journaling. Oh, this is gorgeous. you got the daughter personal healing and happiness opening for you. Emotional healing, physical healing, and you're going to absolutely have victory. Pisces, spirit saying. Wherever you need to have victory in your life, darlings, you're going to have victory. This is flying out. You got your emotions here, so there's just a need to watch your emotions. Don't get out of balance. It's your sacral chakra. And you got the garden and the gate. So pondering your next steps, possibly a little bit of confusion, procrastination going on. I mean, that also came out in your predictions. Any guidance on that? Three messages and they're so perfect. You got your throat chakra, so spirit saying just be really honest, truthful, speak your truth, ask the questions you need to ask if you need, need to get more clarity. Just be really present, live in the present moment. Appreciate how amazing you are, Pisces, and trust your intuitions. Come out again. Mm -hmm. Trust yourself. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, beautiful goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about these new experiences coming into your life. Being in your higher states of consciousness is an absolute love connection here. There are a couple of options. 
Oh, darlings. <laughs> Got abundance coming in. Prosperity. Universe is trying to pour abundance onto you. Oh, as well as love. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Spirit is saying, just be really honest. What is it you want, Pisces? Be true to your heart. Let's have a look at clearing out the old, which dare I say is somebody whose energy is not great. Um, walking away from things that don't serve you. Taking action towards your goals and dreams. Relying on your strength. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got Irene Peace. Spirit saying there's no need to worry. Everything's working out beautifully, Pisces. Let's have a look at maintaining your childlike spirit. The sun coming out. There's a contract coming in. Your friendships. Trust in your heart. Mm, darlings. Oh, wait till you see it. You've got Rihanna Sorceress. Again, this is the magician card in this deck. So it's basically saying you're everything you need to create the life you want to create. Uh, you got May Eve cycles and rhythms. Just watch your energy levels, your emotions. Don't overdo it, yeah. Take time out when you need to. And you got a true love coming in. Love of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love and abundance, Pisces. All right, let's have a look at trusting your own understanding. Daughter personal healing and happiness opening. Your beautiful victory here. Trust in yourself. Mm, got Freya, be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is you want. You got Nematome is sacred space, so doing your spiritual practices, connecting to places that you can connect to spirit. Oh, darlings, this gets me so in the heart, Sharon, because I am a Pisces along with you. Are we ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Got Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Just know your prayers have been heard, they aren't being answers. Double confirmation of that. Don't forget, you got Archangel Sandalfin. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, Pisces. <laughs> oh. One of your best readings yet. Mm hmm. Apart from the worry and anxiety going on. All right, let's have a look at this top row. I'm going to be using the Crystal Reading Deck, which is a healing deck. These new experiences, possibilities, bringing love and abundance into your life. Mm hmm. You've got calcite relaxation, so make sure to take enough time for self uh, to rejuvenate yourself. And you've got kunzite self-love, so there's a need for you to pamper yourself, look after yourself. Let's have a look at clearing out the old, getting rid of this gnarly energy that's around you, trying to get into your world. Mm -mm, no Pisces, we're not having it. Um, take an action, yeah, take an action. Uh, you got spirit quartz music would be deeply soothing and healing for you. Sound therapy, guided meditations, playing music, listening to music. And you got Libyan gold tectite. You're absolutely manifesting what you want right now, Pisces. May not be here yet. You may be worrying it's not going to come in and spirit saying it's coming in. Let's have a look at maintaining your childlike spirit. The sun coming out, this contract offer. True love here, your friendships watching your emotions you got chrysotile animals so your animals may need extra support at this time if you have pets um, you may have animal spirit guides crossing your path to let you know spirits with you and uh, spirit saying just to trust at this time just have faith and trust things are going to work out let's have a look at uh, over here where we have trusting your own understanding so much Happiness, healing coming into your life, your miracle, your victory, speaking your truth. Oh, here it is, darlings. Black tourmaline, divine protection by spirit at this time, watching over you. And you've got fairy stone fertility, perfect time to kick off any new ideas, project ideas you have, starting new things, and listen to your dreams. You've got the Herkimer diamond. So you may get some sublim subliminal messages in your dreams, ideas in your dreams. Put some guidance from the messenger, Oracle. You got follow the moon, so just watch the lunar cycles, yeah. Particularly two days. Well, I mean, the end of the end of June will have a full moon, so just watch the energy of that. Uh, usually, the two days before will upset your emotions and your energy levels. I'm Pisces, so I feel them intensely. I must admit, though, the last one we had that big. Um, what was it, a pink moon or red moon, whatever it was. It was so close to here, to Australia. Didn't impact me at all. No. <laughs> kind of interesting. Mm, again, you got the message to nourish your soul, look after yourself, pamper yourself.
and you've got seek the lesson so there's a life lesson for you to learn here mm -hmm. it'll be super interesting it'll be different for each of you okay you got respect your boundaries so i would suggest to you the the lesson is going to be about whatever this energy is here that you need to walk away from if it's affecting your life yes yeah? so putting healthy boundaries in place with people and you've got uh, embracing your masculine side. So whether you're a guy or a girl, stepping into your empowerment, your personal power. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. We've got quite a few chakras here. You've got your crown chakra. We've certainly got your third eye chakra. There's so much here about trust and your intuition. We've got your heart chakra and we've got your sacral chakra, which is your emotions. We've also got your root chakra. Have we got them all? Are we missing any? The only one we don't have here is your solar plexus. So we got six out of your seven chakras. Mm -hmm. You got journaling again. So spirit saying journaling would be really good for you at this time to release emotions, to have a clear plan, strategy, and getting near bodies of water would be really good, very soothing for your energy at this time, rejuvenating. And communities come out twice. Connecting with your community, um, your friendships, for sure. I mean, some of you may be building a community. Very important at this time. Um, all right, let's pull you some guidance in terms of spiritual guidance around your divine gifts and talents who you're connected to in the spirit world. Uh, you got the white feather, which represents simplicity. So whenever this card comes out, it's about not overthinking things, not overcomplicating things, just doing whatever is right for your energy, for your path at this time, saying no to things that drain your energy that you don't want to do, looking after self, basically. Wow, you've also got justice coming in. Pisces, you've got divine justice coming in, karmic justice coming in. Why do I say that? Because you've got miracles coming in. You've got abundance coming in. You've got love coming in. You've got victory coming in. Mm -hmm. And you're very close to your spirit guides. So whatever messages you want to communicate, ask for, seek guidance on, your spirit guides are absolutely close to you at this time listening. The messages you receive from spirit are going to be very accurate for your path. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put your crowning energy. So today we have the Ask an Angel Oracle. Mm hmm What is it Pisces needs to know at this time? Ah, you pulled health. So there may be something going on with your health and well-being at this moment. Represents Archangel Raphael. Um, did I show it to you? I hope I did. I don't, I don't think I did. There you go. She's very reflective, by the way. She's um, got quite a bit of green uh, leaves and stuff on her, which can certainly represent new beginnings, transformation. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Pisces, true health occurs when the mind, body and spirit exist in a balanced state of harmony. When one aspect of health becomes imbalanced, it affects all other aspects of health too. This is something we constantly see in our lives. When the mind becomes stressed, strained, over or underworked, our bodies react immediately. We may experience digestive problems, sleep problems, headaches or worse. Likewise, when the body is in pain, congested or restricted, we may feel anger, stress or depression. In order to function in true health, we must look at every aspect of our lives to find the balance. A healthy, balanced diet, exercise, water and vitamins, balance with sleep, rest and play. All assist the body in staying fit, strong, stimulated and relaxed, which helps the mind to stay centered and the spirit to feel alive and free. Likewise, meditation, study, creativity can keep the mind centered and stimulated, allowing the body to experience more life and energy. When we connect to spirit and connect to bringing out something bigger, it gives the mind perspective and allows our bodies to feel strong and centered. When intense or outdated emotions build up in our system without any form of healthy release, it becomes a poison in our bodies and can turn into serious illness. So you kind of got to watch that, Pisces. So I know there's a bit of stress coming through particularly in terms of your predictions, sleepless nights, not getting enough sleep, yeah? Got to watch that. If you've been experiencing illness or disharmony of any kind, it may be time for you to tune into your body, your mind, emotions and spirit to find the root of what's causing you pain on a deeper, unexpressed or unresolved level 
so you can take action the necessary to clear the problem. It's also essential for you to observe yourself now and explore what it is you need to do in order to experience true health. Whether it's diet, exercise, rest, meditation or journaling, third time that's come out Pisces, to release pent up energy, it's essential that you take that action now in order to bring your life and health into balance. Perfect message at this time, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. All right, my love, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments below. So blessed you're in the VIP members area. Don't forget, reach out if you feel like you need extra support and guidance. In terms of personal reading, distance rake energy healing sessions or packages, take it easy, my loves. Oh, my God, what an amazing reading. I mean, there's a bit of a gnarly energy to sort out, Pisces. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Step into that masculine energy. Open that heart and arms up to receive what's coming towards you. Uh-huh. So beautiful. All right. For now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.